Fleming's right hand rule when the thumb the forefinger and the central finger of the right hand are stretched mutually perpendicular to each other and are held such that the forefinger is along the direction of magnetic field B and the thumb is along the direction of motion M of the linear conductor then the central finger points along the direction of induced current I or electromotive force consider a rectangular coil ABCD placed in a magnetic field B due to horseshoe shaped permanent magnet SN if the coil is rotated in anti clockwise direction such arm AB moves upwards or CD moves downwards the induced current will appear from A to B in the arm AB according to Fleming's right hand rule similarly in the arm CD the current will be from C to D thus Fleming's right hand rule helps in determining the direction of the induced current or electromotive force